Virgo, what is up? It's your girl Cat. We're going to do your weekly reading right now. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, which is all about swift action. Okay, so you could be doing, taking some kind of a, yeah, taking some kind of uh, action very quickly on a situation. And I think, um, I know what it is with the Ten of Swords here. <laughs> some kind of an ending. Uh, taking an action for an ending here, possibly. This guy's Swiss cheese. He's not getting back up. Uh, this is somebody who's very sexy, sought after. Could be a uh, fire sign there. A Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Been stressed out, carrying around a very heavy emotional burden with you. Um, not sure how you feel about things or changing the way that you feel about things or think about things. Could be a legal matter or an issue of being treated fairly. A new path, a new journey here success and celebration this is all about timing watching and waiting energy and putting in the work or working towards something okay so don't forget to find the deck we had the eight of wands <clears throat> so putting an end to something i feel like i don't know i'm just feeling stress i feel like a lot of stress from this reading virgo like somebody's got you stressed out I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But that's what I'm picking up. All right. So what's up with this Ten of Swords? Why is Swiss cheese here? Waiting. You got that twice. I feel like I feel like you're planning on ending something. You're planning on taking some action to end something with somebody because they're stressing you out. Um, but I feel like you have to wait. Like the timing has something to do with it. And I think also that you invested a lot in this person, so it's hard for you to to end it because you have invested so much into this person. But I think that intuitively you know that it's time to make a change and take some action here. Right. So this is somebody that you have a lot of love for. Um, could also be a, a very strong sexual attraction here. Um, wands or passion and this is the king so this could be somebody that you really kind of like have a lot of emotional connection to uh in the bedroom here's a heavy burden and that's the opposite yeah like i said i think you're you're thinking about taking some kind of an action to end this yeah I think that, you know, the way that you see this person has just changed for some reason. I'm not picking up why you want to end this just yet, but um, I think that the way you view this person has changed and now you're just all stressed out. Like you can't get any, any peace. Like there's no peace of mind. I think that you're thinking about uh, possibly a divorce here with the justice card the legal legal issues and i think that you want to be independent and self-sufficient so i think that you're you some of you will be getting a divorce like court has to get involved with it there's a new path a new journey yeah making plans success and celebration moving out of hard times and into karma waters waiting is an offer commitment security stability i think that you're going to get like a, a divorce settlement here virgo i think a lot of you are just waiting for the right time um working towards something yeah you're stressed the fuck out so i think you're working towards an ending with this person because they just like i said Remember, I hadn't even like pulled any cards yet, but I just felt like I'm feeling like this person just stresses you out. Yeah. Something about them just really kind of like, I'm kind of curious about that. Let's take the eight off the, the bottom. What is it about this person that stresses Virgo out so badly? What is it about this person that stresses Virgo out so badly? walking away from them they're not making you happy they're not filling your cups 
maybe you're the only one putting in any effort here. You know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not getting like a definite answer of why it's ending, but I just know that this person stresses you the fuck out and you're ready to walk away and be independent. It's an offer of love. Maybe they're seeing other people. They have somebody on the side possibly. They're in love with somebody else. They told you they're in love with somebody else this month. <laughs> oh, all right. What is the outcome of this reading for Virgo, please? Anticipating, watching, waiting, balance, <clears throat> a new beginning, transformation, an ending. Yeah, you're going to end this with this person. I don't know. I feel like maybe they told another person they want to be with them told you, you know, they're in love with somebody else or something like that. But yeah, um, I think that you definitely want to end this because this person just stresses you out. Like you, you have no peace of mind with this person. Like you can't rest. You feel like you're always like carrying around this heavy heaviness with you. Just feel like, you know, this isn't what you signed up for. You know, and you want to move away from hard times and be successful. I think that some of you are going to get a divorce settlement and it's going to be actually very lucrative for you. So this person might have done you a favor. Um, yeah, I think divorce is going to lead to, you know, financial gain for you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm picking up this person said that they're in love with somebody else. And you're just waiting for the right time to end this and to take them to court and get some bank. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's what I have for you for this week. Um, let me pull an oracle card. Hold on. I feel these. Kind of a jacked up reading. This person's doing you a favor. They don't sound like a very nice person. Endings are never easy, though. All right, let's see. The Chaser. Fear of abandonment, chasing, codependencies. So you could be like reluctant to let them go. Could have some codependent uh, tendencies there. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, struck by love. So you could, you could be meeting somebody new, Virgo. You don't even need this person. Poker face. Taking a chance, risks and options, not showing hand, gambling. Yeah, I feel like your person's taking a gamble with somebody else, um, unfortunately. But like I said, I feel like if you are getting a divorce, it's going to lead to like a big financial um, settlement for you and you'll be doing better after the divorce. All right, guys, so well, that's what I have for you for today. I hope that you like that. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribe and join the Scorpio Cat family. The more the merrier. Until next time, take care. Bye.